What's going on you guys? It's Adam Peter Shin. I'm on the road today heading down to the great city of Spartanburg, South Carolina. I got my Venti Starbucks on deck that I got with rewards. Heck yeah. We're about to go see my boy Zion Williamson fresh off of his Duke University signing announcement. We're about to go see him play a game of basketball. I'm working remote today. I couldn't be happier to be taking this trip. All right, guys, we have made it to Carolina Barbecue and more, which is going to be the lunch spot. Uh, check it out, man. Got pretty good reviews online, so I'm going to check it out. But before I do, I thought I would explain the whole Zion Williamson fascination and why I like him so much. I mean, it's not because he just signed to Duke. I'm actually not a Duke or Carolina fan, and I take great pride in saying that I'm not a fan of either school. I'm a first and foremost a Charlotte fan. I wish he would have came to Charlotte, but hey, what can you do? Um, yeah, and I, man, I just think he's got, he. aside from being an electrifying athlete out there and very exciting to watch, I just think he has a great head on his shoulders. He's left-handed, which I can relate to. Um, man, I think he's really got the, the potential to be the next big athlete, the next big basketball player of his generation. I think he will be, if he, if he continues to progress in the game, I do think he has a chance to be in that conversation with the great. All right, y'all, I just wrapped up at Carolina Barbecue. It was actually the first full Southern meal I've had since coming back from our trip. And I'm glad it was because that was absolutely delicious. I wouldn't say it was the best barbecue I've ever had, but I would definitely say I'd put it somewhere in the top 10 or 20 and definitely blows anything I've tried in Charlotte out of the water. Now, you guys may have noticed that uh, that Cheerwine sauce, that's a one-of-a-kind sauce they got was pretty cool but I, I happened to fancy the the South Carolina mustard I was you know I'm like if I'm in town if I'm in South Carolina that's what I got to go with uh the the pulled pork was great I mean the chopped pork was great the ribs were, the ribs were a touch dry but they were still really good the mac and cheese was nice and peppery with it, it wasn't the creamy type of cheese but the dry kind of cheese that goes well with pepper and the sweet tea was nice, nice and balanced, not too sweet, not too tea. I don't even know if that's a word, but that's that's how it was. Uh, the banana pudding was delicious. I would highly recommend if you're in Spartanburg and don't feel like going all the way down to Greenville to get lunch, definitely stop in Spartanburg and check these guys out. Uh, service was impeccable. Everyone was super friendly, super Southern. I felt like I was back home. Uh, yeah, great place. Spartanburg's a really chill city, but um, one thing I've noticed about Spartanburg that's pretty similar to Charlotte is that it used to be a former textile mill town, and a lot of these uh, mill buildings have been converted into like apartments, or in this case, I think there's a burn boot camp somewhere right here, a restaurant, um, and it, it looks really nice. I mean, I know that's something we also do in Charlotte, especially Noda used to be a big mill neighborhood and um, if you've ever been to the Levine New Mu uh, Museum of the New South you kind of learn about uh, how these mill towns used to operate and I recommend checking that out if you're in Charlotte and haven't seen that um, but I forgot that Spartanburg was a big mill city uh, it's cool to see that they've repurposed a lot of these buildings instead of tearing them down all right, y'all, it is 4.05. I just got my early ticket to the game. As you guys saw, I was standing in line, and I just saw this line of people, and instantly I got nervous. I was like, oh, man, am I too late? Am I not guaranteed to get in? But that was just the early line to get in and get uh, get a ticket. But, uh, <laughs> I mean, I would have stood in line for three and a half hours, man, just because I, I want to see this game that bad. But, uh, man, I got nervous there for a minute. Anyway, I'm going to come back for the girls game at 6 just to guarantee I get a good spot and hopefully I'll be able to take you guys along with me. Stay tuned. Alright guys, we just arrived to the Spartanburg Day School Gym. Here it is. This is the best seat I could possibly get. There's a section for a family and I'm right behind that. Get some new friends over here. They let me sit beside them. I guess the gym looks a lot bigger on uh, <laughs> on uh, the video screen, but man, this place is going to get packed. I just know it. The ball 
Buzz Live camera guy just got here. He's about to get some good shots for the for the internet. Got in the jacket right there. Seniors on the squad. Keep the film ready. He's already had like five or six ridiculous dunks. I'm already losing my voice. It's only the end of the first quarter. Crazy. My hand is shaking. That's how crazy it is. Dude is beasting. Doing windmills, two handed tomahawks from the baseline. I'll try to catch at least one for Snapchat. I think I got it. I think I got that one. We're going nuts. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. I think we all needed a break. <laughs> that craziness. Oh. <laughs> Huge block. I'm not sure if I got that or not. Okay. Here we go. Uh -oh. Here we go. Smell it coming. See how easy this guy is getting dunks like that? It's not even a thing. Yo, yo, fist fight just about broke out a little bit. It's getting heated, man. Oh, couple of swings. I kind of missed what happened. I caught like the very last part of it. It's getting chippy in here. I had to hold him back. What a show. 
Final score, 87-38. Standing on the court after the game. This is, uh, of course, where the classic showdowns of uh, the last couple years have taken place for all the mixtape videos. It's crazy that uh, we get to stand on the court right now. Really awesome. <laughs> 